Good day everyone, my name is Oliver Udimesa from Section 3B1, Major in Automotive Technology. For today's video, I will show you demo teaching about brake system. So before we proceed to our demo teaching, let's have first our daily routine. May I request everyone to please stand up and Mr. Dostres, can you please lead the prayer? In the name of the Father, and of Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, please protect us from all evil, guide us with your light. Give us a good health as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, thank you, Mr. Dulestres, for leading the prayer. Good morning, class, and also good mor say good morning to our observers. Good morning, sir, and also good morning, observers. So before you take your seat, pick up pieces of paper arrange and arrange your chairs. Please be seated. So, Andre, is there any absent today? There is no absent, sir. Very good. As I remember, I have given you an assignment last time. Yes, sir. Please pass it forward. So, before we proceed with our next lesson this afternoon, let us recap first what we have learned last meeting. Simply raise your right hand if you want to answer. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Can you share anything that you learned this last discussion? Yes, Mr. Makalinga. Last meeting, I learned about different types of brakes and its parts. Okay. How will you differentiate types of brakes? Yes, Mr. Zaita. The two types of brakes are disc brakes and drum brakes. Correct. And what are the basic parts of brake system? Yes, Mr. Cleope. The basic parts of brake system are brake pedal, brake master cylinder, brake lines, rotor, or drums, wheel cylinders, and brake pad. Very good. Do you have any question about our previous lesson? None, sir. Is everything clear? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So, before we proceed to our main discussion, let's now have first our motivation for today. So, in two minutes... Answer the following jumbled letters or words. Is there any question about the mechanics of the game? No, sir. Okay. Let's begin. Timer starts now. Time is up. Okay, class, who got the right answer on the jumbled letter? Yes, Mr. Dito. The answer for number one to four are disc brakes, drum brakes, pedal, and brake lines. Very good. Next, who got the answer for number five to seven? Yes, Mr. Asadera. The answers for number 5 to 7 are brake pads, master cylinder, and rotor. Okay, very good. So now let's proceed to the presentation of the lesson. So, class, those words on the jumbled letters is related to our topic, which is the brake system. So for us to be properly directed in discussing our topic, let us first read the objective of the lesson. Everybody, please read the objective of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to identify and memorize the different types and parts of brake system, learn the importance and purpose of brake system, and perform basic process of bleeding okay. and brake system. So class, take a look on the image that I posted. So, can you name what particular system in the automobile is being shown in the image? Yes, Mr. De Los Reyes. The image that is posted is the brake system. Very good. Okay, class. Let me discuss first the brake system. A brake system is designed to slow and halt the motion of the vehicle. To do this, various components within the brake system must convert vehicles moving energy into heat. This is done by using friction. Friction is the resistance to movement exerted by two objects on each other. So what is the function of brake system? A brake is a mechanical device that inhibits motion by absorbing energy from a moving system. It is used by slowing or stopping a moving vehicle, wheel, axle, or to prevent its motion most often accomplished by means of friction. Okay class, who would like to read the main parts of brake system? Yes, Mr. Cleope. The main parts of brake system are brake pedal, brake master cylinder, brake lines, okay, rotors, drums, wheel Let cylinders. Let me discuss their functions and meaning. So first is the brake pedal. The pedal is what you push with your foot to activate the brakes. It causes brake fluid to flow through the system to put pressure on the brake pads. 
Next is the brake master cylinder. The master cylinder is basically a plunger that is activated by the brake pedal. It is what holds the brake fluid and forces it through the brake lines when activated. Next part is the brake lines. Generally made of steel, brake lines are what carry the brake fluid from the master cylinder reservoir to the wheels where pressure is applied to stop the car. Next part is the rotors or drums. Your car either has rotors for disc brakes and drums for drum brakes. This is what the brake pads wrap against to create the friction to stop your car. Next part is wheel cylinders. The brake pads are connected to the wheel cylinders, which either squeeze for disc brakes or push apart for drum brakes. The brake pads when fluid flows into them. Next is the brake pads. The brake pads are what actually, actually rub against the drums or rotors. They are made of composite materials and designed to last for many, many thousands of miles. However, if you hear a grinding or howling noise when you try to stop your car, it likely means it is time for to buy a new brake pads. So class, take a look on the pictures that I posted. Those pictures are presenting the two types of brake and their parts. So class, may I ask one of you who would give the difference between drum brakes and disc brakes? Okay, yes Mr. Zera. Literally a drum brake is a small round drum that has a set of shoes inside of it. The drum brake will rotate alongside the wheel, and when the brake pedal is applied, the shoes are forced against the sides of the drum and the wheel is slowed. A disc brake has a disc. Very shaped good. metal rotor spinning so, within a the wheel. Basic words, we can classify disc brakes as a type of vehicle brake, employing the friction of pads against a disc, which is attached to the wheel. And drum brake is a type of vehicle brake in which brake shoes press against inside a drum of the wheel. Now, I will discuss the importance of having a brake system and its purpose. So, is there anyone who can read the paragraph and I will explain it after you read? Yes, Mr. Zaita. Your vehicle's braking system is by far the most important safety feature it has. The ability to stop or slow down at a split second significantly helps stop incidents and accidents. Therefore, keeping them well maintained will make the difference okay, between. It said that having a brake system will help us to reduce accidents and provide us safety. The friction of your tires against the road is what slows down and stop your car. The brakes are what's responsible for stopping the wheels from spinning. Did you, did you understand class? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now, let's move forward with the steps on bleeding of the brake system. Class, may I ask you, is there someone here that already know the steps of bleeding the brake system? None, sir. Okay. I will kindly discuss the nine basic bleeding process for you to know and under understand what it is. So, let's know first what tool are we need in bleeding the process. So, you will need the following tools. Box and wrench suitable for your car's bleeder screw. Next is extra brake fluid. Next is 12 inch long section of clear plastic tubing. Next is disposable bottle for waste fluid. Next is one can of brake cleaner. Next is one assistant to pump the brake pedal. And last is jack and jack stand. So now let's proceed to the steps. So the step one is prepare before getting into action. So what it means. So, consult the owner's manual to know which specific type of brake fluid your vehicle requires. Also, what intervals the fluid inside need to be replaced. Brake fluid has many different types, and they don't mix well. Get to the auto parts store or dealer parts department to buy the correct fluid before you start working on the bleeding job. Next is the step 2. Step 2 is getting your car ready for the job. Using jack, jack up your vehicle on a level and solid ground. It should be a garage floor or driveway surface. They support the car with four jack stands placed at the jacking points shown on the owner's manual. It needs to be safely and firmly on solid footing while in the air. Remember the process of bleeding brakes will help you get partially under the car at times so it should be safe for you. Then after that, remove all four wheels to begin. Next step is step three. Locate the brake leader screw. In order to do that, crawl underneath your car or use a creeper to find the brake leader screw Located behind each of your brakes. Then use the wrench to loosen but not remove the screw. If it is stuck, spraying some penetrant around it will make your job easier. Next step is step 4. Connect and fill. Connect and fill 
the jar is actually an important step for drivers to know how to bleed brakes. Fit one end of a hose into the end of the screw and put the other hand end in the glass jar or a bottle. Fill the jar with brake fluid at a level so that the hose's end is submerged. If you can find any flexible hose, keep the jar near the nozzle so that it can catch the liquid squirting out of the nozzle. So the next step is step 5. Test the brake fluid. Ask the helper might be a friend or someone else to sit in the driver's seat and push the brake pedal several times. After that, open the bleeder screw while asking the helper to hold the pedal down. Brake fluid will come out of the nozzle and you'll see the bubbles on the system. This is an essential step in how to bleed brakes. Next step is step 6, remove the bubble. Now, tighten the screw when the helper is still holding the pedal down. After that, tell him or her to release the pedal and repeat this process of loosening and tightening the screw until the fluid contains no more bubble. So the next step is step 7, bleed the brakes. In order to master how to bleed brakes, you have to bleed each of the brakes by repeating the same process. However, it is necessary to fill up the master cylinder with brake fluid before bleeding each of the brakes. If you don't do it, the cylinder will be drained out of fluid and draw air into the lines. In that case, it is necessary to bleed the master cylinder too. Next step is step 8, master cylinder checking. After bleeding all four brakes, you ask your helper to apply full effort to the brake pedal followed by a sudden oil release. Look closely to the motion of fluid in the master cylinder reservoir. If there is a substantial fluid eruption, there will be air bubbles still trapped in the system. In that case, you have to repeat the bleeding procedure to remove the air. And the next step is step 9. And this is the last step. Tighten the screw. Tighten all screw and bolts to avoid entering an air inside the brake system. So, and those steps are the steps of bleeding the brake system. Is there any question about our topic for today? Please raise your right hand if you have one. No, sir. Okay. Be sure that you understand our topic for today class because tomorrow I will give you a quiz about these topics. That clear? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So let's move forward to our generalization. What are the main parts or components of brake system? Yes, Mr. Cleope. Main parts of brake system are brake pedal, brake master cylinder, brake lines. Very good. Motors, drums, wheel cylinders. Next question. What are the two types of brake? Yes, Mr. De Torres. The two types of brakes are disc brakes and drum brakes. Very good. And last question. What is the purpose or function of brake in the vehicle? Yes, Mr. Sider. It is used for slowing or stopping a moving vehicle, wheel, axle, or to prevent its motion, most often accomplished by means of Very friction. Well now let's move to the application. In our actual performance, I will group you class. Since you are 20 in this major, I will give, group you into 10 so that each group will have at least two members. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Here are my instructions. Listen carefully. Each group will perform the process of leading the brake system in our mock-up. The performance will be graded using the criterion that is posted. Okay, class. Job well done. Most of you got a high grades. It means that you clearly understand our topic for today. So... Is there any question or clarification, class? No, sir. Okay, so here is your assignment. Read and memorize the process of bleeding the brake system. Tomorrow, we will have a quiz. Did you have any question about your assignment? No, sir. Okay, good. So now, everybody, please stand up and pick up all the trashes under your seats and arrange your chairs properly. Okay. After picking up, please remain standing. And Mr. Zaita, can you lead the closing prayer for our class for today? In the name of the Father, and of Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, please protect us from all evil. Guide us with your light. Give us a good health as we pray in Jesus' name. Okay, thank a you for leading the closing prayer, Mr. Zaita. Okay, class, thank you for listening. Goodbye, and also say goodbye to our observers. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, observers. My class, goodbye. Thank you. And this is the end of my demo teaching about brake system. I hope you gain knowledge about brake system. Thank you for listening. Once again, I am Oliver Udemesa from Section 3B1, Major in Automotive Technology. Thank you and God bless.